you know, I think you need to cherish every moment of every day. Those loved ones around you need to be told that they're loved. I tell my friends that. Back in college, I was uh, the sensitive one that I was always hugging and telling them I loved them and things of that nature. I think just live every moment and be in that moment, be present in that moment, and live life like there's no tomorrow because you know, life's a gift. You never are assured of tomorrow. My friendship with Ben is extremely special. He is a one-of-a-kind person. He is the most thoughtful, most genuine friend uh, that I have, probably the most thoughtful, genuine f person that I know. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him and his idea of the feather bow tie. And it's something that um, we hope that we'll just keep on flourishing over, over the uh, next few years. I'd always worked with feathers uh, my entire life. Uh, I grew up um, tying flies for fly fishing, uh, fletching arrows. Um, that all started about when I was eight and nine, uh, you know, going out into the woods and uh, wanting to uh, start to get more uh, hands-on with the experience, get closer to the uh, animals and things of that nature. And so uh, working with feathers always was something that came uh, early on with me. You know, when I was looking to give a gift for my groomsmen, uh, I wanted to try to give a gift that was as meaningful and as special and almost as wonderful as our relationship was with each individual and my family members. One day that aha moment occurred when I was uh, at the dining room table. Um, I had a bow tie laying there and just happened to lay a turkey feather beside the bow tie and a turkey body feather, the natural shape, confirmation and tapering of it. it fits the tie frame perfectly. And that was when the light bulb went off, was uh, when I saw that turkey feather laying beside the bow tie. Had they not come, had I not just happened to lay them down side by side, I don't know if the ever idea would have ever been born, but um, you know, the stars aligned and uh, the turkey feather bow tie was born. Brackish started with uh, the idea of the feather bow tie. And I was a groomsman, so I was one of the recipients of the first feather bow tie. And it was very special at the time. I didn't realize how special it actually was, but it was very special to his heart. And that's what made such a big difference. And as the years went on after this uh, first feather bow tie was uh, thought of and designed and made and given to me and the other groomsmen, I'd wear it to other events. And every time I wore it anywhere, I'd have so many people coming up to me and telling me how special the feather bow tie was and how cool it was and where they could get one and that just got my wheels turning a little bit and fast forward to about three years ago I was uh, in the position to start my own company and I couldn't think of a more original idea than what Ben had thought of and that's when the two of us partnered up and formed Brackish and ever since it's gone gone very very well it's just a, such a unique original product that's handcrafted here in South Carolina Brackish is an interesting story uh, behind the name of Brackish. Uh, Jeff and I were uh, trying to figure out a name that we were going to launch the company with. We had some names and we weren't really sure. They didn't really have a lot of meaning to them. Uh, and everything we do here at Brackish has a meaning and a purpose. That's what Jeff and I are big on. We want it to have a meaning. We want it to have a purpose. Uh, Jeff's from St. Simons Island, Georgia, and I'm from Columbia, South, South Carolina. And so when we came together to form the company, when salt water meets fresh water, it creates Brackish water. Uh, all of the different designs and styles uh, we try to keep consistent, but at the same time, because we use natural feathers, uh, every single tie is going to be unique to itself because we hand select every feather for every tie. And there are no two feathers that are going to be completely identical in nature. So that being said, uh, every single one is going to be a little bit different and every tie takes about four to five hours to make from start to finish. These are all natural occurring feathers that are found uh, throughout the world. Um, all of them painted only by Mother Nature's paintbrush. Not, no dyes, no paint. Uh, all natural feathers are used in every single bow tie, every single product here at Brackish. Some of our ties only incorporate four feathers. Some of them have up to 180 feathers. So each tie is unique into that uh, to itself. Um, you know, it just depends on the design uh, of the type of tie that how many feathers it incorporates. For example, the copper has four um, and the hound has 150 or 80. So.
Charleston is very important and it was very important as a, as a launching pad when we got started and started to get established as a business. Uh, there are a lot of progressive minds here in Charleston, a lot of great creative minds and great contacts that you can make here in Charleston. And they've really embraced our product like no other city in the world. And we would not be where we are now without Charleston, South Carolina. The individuals that are down in this city and in this state uh, are absolutely amazing. We have some of the most talented artisans that work for us in the world. Ben came up with this idea uh, with family and friends in mind and it came from the heart and it came with meaning so we know that that's how we got started and that's how it really launched us so we try to stay true to that on a day-to-day -day basis.